I'm Nick Swisher. And this is The, the Nest, Nest Weekly. Weekly. We have a lot to cover today, so we're just gonna get right into it. But first, we wanna thank you guys for all the support this past week. You are so freaking awesome, and you make this whole process a lot more fun. Here we have our dear friend and weatherman, William Martin. Can we get a hand? <laughs> William Martin will be the Nest Weekly's first official host, outside of Cindy and I, of course. All right, William. Take it away. Good morning, Falcons. I am meteorologist Will Martin, and I hope everyone had a nice weekend. And if, if you are in that Monday blues, today's forecast will definitely turn that around. Monday highs today will be in the upper 50s and in the upper 30s. Perfect for that outside exercise or that spring training you might want to get in today. Because for the rest of the days, a front will be approaching and it will include rain and colder temperatures. Tuesday highs are in the upper 40s and then the lows are going to be in the upper 30s. Expect widespread showers throughout the day. Now I know you all have been thinking, with the forecast calling for more rain, should you study for Lanfair's test? But in order for us to see snow this week, we need a cold air mass to push the warm air we had from Monday out and the moisture needs to remain. Even if we do see some snow, keep in mind that the ground temperatures have been fairly warm throughout January. So bottom line, I would say to keep studying, but keep faith, there are a lot of winters left. Highs are going to be in the upper 50s and lows approaching 40 degrees for Wednesday. As far as Thursday, expect the same chances of rain with highs in the upper 40s and lows in the mid to the upper 30s. Friday, expect the upper 40s and the low, low 30s with a few showers in the morning and clearing out later in the day. My name is William Martin. And now we're going to be moving on to upcoming events. For sports, January 30th, it is the start of the conference for our varsity men's and women's basketball and our varsity boys wrestlers. On Monday and Tuesday, we have a used book sale from 8 to 4 in the multipurpose room. This will be used for supporting the NCLA Elementary Library. The Sadie Hawkins dance, get prepared, it's on February 25th. Girls, start getting your proposals ready and send us pictures whenever you get them. Trust me, the boys are practically begging to be asked. Like, they are like crying over not even being proposed to. Speaking of dances, prom is coming up on April 29th. We already see some of y'all out there buying your dresses and you guys look so good. The turn on Agma Mob BSA. Hi, E. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm very good. Okay. So uh, we had to hunt you down because you're a very, very busy person, you know, being a senior and all. So uh, you're a senior at the NCLA. How was your senior year? My senior year has been going really good. I mean, I've had a lot of great teachers, great um, friends around me. I've just had an all-around great year. That's good. I'm so happy to hear that. So, uh, you know, since you do have a bunch of classes this year, what is your favorite class so far? Um, probably AP Literature with Mr. Hartzell. That class is just so much fun. Like, he... He finds activities for us to do every day that kind of um, build our like vocabulary and like make the class seem not as boring as it you know as it, yeah, as it, as it actually could be. is. Right, as it could yeah. be. Makes Shakespeare fun. So you know, vocabulary and good writing skills will be really important in college. So on the top of college, what colleges have you applied to this year? Um, I've applied to uh, like Chapel, um, NC State, UNC Charlotte, UNC Wilmington. Uh, Rake Forest, Davidson, and Swarthmore. Um, nice. Hopefully, um, I'll get into UNC Chapel for computer science. We'll okay. see. But if not, I'll probably go um, to UNC Charlotte for computer science. That's awesome. So, which one's like your top choice so far? Um, UNC Chapel. Nice. Um, so, there's a picture that she sent in a group chat that we're both in. Let me find it. This man. Who is this man, and why is he so important? Um. <laughs> He is the uh, epitome of confidence. What's his name? Um, Duke. So last question. If you had to find one song that describes you, or your favorite song, what is it? But you have to sing it so it can make it to the final cut. Um, probably Stronger by Kanye West. You okay, yeah. Thank you so much for coming in, and we are so happy that you are our Fal Falcon of the Week. In replacement of Nick Swisher, I am happy to announce Cooper Wingate is the winner of Find the Falcon. He's not very happy to be here. I'm so blessed to be here. I found the Falcon first, and I'm hiding it here. Alright Falcons, we sent out a poll on Instagram earlier this week asking who you think would win in an epic battle between Miss BG, Mr. Lanfair, Mr. Gonzalez, and Mr. Weigel. And here are your responses. Mr. Gonzalez won with 38% of the vote. <laughs> the 
runner up being Mr. Landfair with 27% of the votes. So I want to see the battle soon. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in on the Nest Weekly's second episode ever. Um, we've loved all the support recently, and we hope to see you next week. Have a good one! Woo. Falcons, if you have any ideas for segments, please email us at thenestweekly at theinsulated.org so we can take your ideas in, and maybe they'll be in some later videos. Local Allstate agent Amy Lovell is proud to support the North Carolina Leadership Academy's The Nest Weekly, and she is proud to support our community too. Give her a call to get the protection you deserve. Thank you to our family's gracious donations to help support The Nest Weekly. It's from um, Agbemia Bese. Agbemia Bese. See, when I look at it phonetically, yeah, it's, it's easy. Agbemia Bese. Good morning, FDLA! My name is Sydney Lar, and I'm Nick Swisher, and this is The Nest Weekly. Oh, I thought you were actually going, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I am not ready. No. Do you think people actually think we date? Yo, yeah, probably. William, take it away, King. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in there.